G'day, Moz here, and welcome to another morning tea with me. It's the first chance I've had to get out, so I'm taking advantage of the weather to get out and about. Hopefully it'll hold. Uh, well, it's just a, well, let's say a, a little break in the weather, and hopefully I won't get rained on. I'm going to review, review my favourite sci-fi comedy. Wondering if you've ever heard, read, or seen mm, this. Yes, Douglas Adams's Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series stands as a testament to enduring powers of imagination, humour, existential exploration. Spanning radio, literature, television, and film, and Adams's creation had left an indemnable mark on popular culture, captivating audiences across generations with a blend of irreverent wit, cosmic adventure and a profound philosophical musings. It all began in 1978 with the original series broadcast on BBC Radio 4. Conceived as a comic exploration of space and humanity's place within it, the radio show introduced the listeners to Arthur Dent, Ford Prefect, and Zaphod Beeblebrox, and a host of eccentric characters that journeyed across the cosmos in search of the answers to life, the universe, and everything. Question, yes. Of life, the universe, and everything, yes. Is, yes. is, yes. is, 42. It was a tough assignment. 42. Adam's sharp wit and affinity for the absurd shone through in each episode, paving the way for a series of enduring popularity. Building upon the success of the radio program, Adams adapted his story into a series of novels, beginning with The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in 1979, the novels expanded upon the radio series, delving deeper into the characters, motivations and intricate workings of Adam's imagined universe. With each instalment, Adam's storytelling prowess continued to captivate readers, cementing his status as masters of science fiction comedy. The series often referred to as a trilogy trilogy in five parts comprises five novels. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy in 1979, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe in 1980, Life, the Universe and Everything in 1982, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish in 1984, Mostly Harmless in 1992. Following Adams' untimely death in 2001, fans wondered if they had seen the last of Arthur Dent and his intergalactic adventures. Enter Owen Koffler, acclaimed author of Artemis Fowl series, who took the mantle to continue the saga with And Another Thing. With support of Jane Belson, Adams's widow, released in 19, in sorry, 2009, the sixth instalment breathed, in, breathed a new life into the beloved Adams universe he had created. This novel, Arthur Dent finds himself back on Earth, which had been mysteriously restored after its destruction in earlier instalments. 
As he grappled with the surreal nature of his surroundings, Arthur is once again thrust into a series of bizarre adventures across the cosmos, encountering old friends and new foes alike. In 1981, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy made its television debut in, the, in a BBC miniseries adap adaptation. This series ret retained much of the irreverent humour uh, and offbeat charm of its material, earning a dedicated following and introducing a new generation of fans to the adventures of Arthur Dent and company. Now let's fast forward to 2005. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reached an even broader audience with the release of a feature film adaptation directed by Garth Jennings and starring Martin Freeman as Arthur Dent. The film stayed true to the spirit of Adam's original work. Despite the passage of time, the evolution of entertainment medias, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy remains an relevant and beloved as ever. From its humble beginnings as a radio comedy to expansion into novels, television, film, ad film and created continue its, its creation continue to inspire and entertain audience with its wit, imagination and timeless insight into the absurdity of existence. So as the guide ex itself suggests, don't panic and always remember your towel. A towel. Keep this and guard it with your life. Huh? Listen, it's a tough universe. There's all sorts of people and things trying to do you, kill you, rip you off, everything. If you're going to survive out there, you've really got to know where your towel is. In addition to his work on the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Adams left his mark on another iconic British TV series. I'll just grab me coffee. In 1979, he penned the widely acclaimed Doctor Who series entitled The Pirate Planet, which aired as part of the show's 16th season. Uh, Adam's unique blend of humour, imagination, storytelling brought a fresh perspective to the beloved series, further solidifying his reputation as master of science fiction. Furthermore, Adams contributed to another Doctor Who story entitled Sharda. Planned as a finale of the 17th season in 1979, Sharda was intended to be the sixth episode storytelling featuring Tom Baker's, Tom Baker's fourth Doctor. Although the production was halted due to industrial action by, at the BBC because of the um, the, the strikes and, and industrial disputes, a lot of the, um, the filming hadn't been completed. All the, um, the audio was complete. So um, in the 2000s, what was missing as far as visual was actually animated. So if you ever watch Sharda, you'll see it was a mix of law of uh, of people and animation which made up the whole episodes interesting do you know that um, the number 42 had crept up in a lot of pop culture um, in a number of shows here are some examples where it turned up In the X-Files, Agent uh, Fox Mulder lived in apartment 42. Here's a clip. Glad you're here. 
in Star Trek, the USS Enterprise in C1701D has 42 decks. The TV sci-fi series Caprica, the license plate of Starbucks truck is FB42E3. An episode of Doctor Who is named 42, being the seventh episode of the third new series uh, broadcast on the BBC on the 19th of May 2007. Douglas Adams appeared at the beginning of Monty, Pyth Monty Python's Flying Circus Sketch 42. Hmm. In the movie, I, Robot, the first clearly seen robot has 42 printed on the forehead. Check this out. Yet another on-time delivery from... Get the hell out of my face, Connor. And if you haven't worked it out by now, Moz42 is my channel. So there you go. So, hope you enjoyed that little... Uh, Review of 42. Cheers. Take care.